Hey, this is Pete. We got some Arbor Vita bushes on both sides of our deck. And over the years, they've just grown out over the grass so much it's hard to mow that grass down there. It's even hard to weed eat it. And these things are growing towards the sun, and then in the winter, they'll get snowed on. The snow's real heavy on the top, and they get uh, smushed out and bent over. I've tried trimming them back, but you can't really go too far before you get to the sticks. Sticks are right there. There's not much vegetation on them. So, we have them over here on this side too. And I'm going to take them all out. It's 1 o'clock right now. And I bet you by 2 o'clock I'll have them all gone. I'm just going to use a reciprocating saw with a pruning blade and um, we're just going to cut them down there at the base haul them out to the curb, trim them up a little bit out there and then around the root the stump I'm just going to cut with the reciprocating saw cut around the stump to get the roots out and I'm just going to pull it out like I did there so I didn't have to use any anything other than my hands to pull the root out once I got it cut so uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Also, this gazebo is going to disappear this weekend. Uh, sold it on Craigslist, or rather someone from Craigslist is going to come pick it up. There's a lot of reasons I don't like it. It doesn't really block the sun where, where we want to sit. It's also so close to the roof that the rain comes off the roof, gets on the gazebo, and then backsplashes onto the house which is uh, not good. Sort of defeats the purpose of having a, an eave and a gutter. But whatever. Uh, so this is gonna look a lot different. Tomorrow we'll be able to see the girls playing around the yard and uh, it'll be all good. All right, so I bought this, uh, this Bosch reciprocating saw on Amazon. I got these pruning blades at Home Depot. They just have a real aggressive cut on them. Perfect for pruning or cutting down bushes. Um, so yeah, I just want to say when you're using power tools it's really important to make sure they're plugged in or they're not going to work. Um, but just watch how this goes. It's not so bad. They've all sort of grown together, so they don't fall over when you cut through them. All right, so that's one stump out of the way. I'm gonna clear a little bit more around it and I'll show you how I cut the stump out of the ground. All right, so I just cut three stumps off right there and I still can't get to those stumps to pull them out, so I gotta trim more. These things just grow together so bad, it's crazy. So. That was one of them. That was another. Well, I guess there's three there somewhere. Kind of all piled them together. But these things are pretty big. Alright, so I trimmed four stumps 
just so I could get to this one stump on the edge with nothing on top of it. It's still in the sunlight, but I think I can get to it enough to pull it out. So I'm just going to poke this in the ground and sort of cut the roots around the base and um, see, see how that works. So I bent my blade sticking it in the ground. So I'll trim the, all the trees first. Okay, it's still in there pretty good. Let me try again. All right, I did something in there. Huh. Well, I'm going to go get a shovel and see if I can get it out with that. Need a little leverage. Alright, I got my shovel. I'm going to try to get this out with that. Maybe I can feel where the roots are. See where I need to cut more. we go there's the stump there's still a little bit of root down here I'll try to get that out once I get the rest of the stumps out I think we got 17 stumps to pull out like that and let's see what time it is Took me 15 minutes to do that one. Of course, I cut a few others down in the process, so that's the idea. All right, so in 42 minutes, I cut all 17 uh, trees down to the stump. There's those over there. Now I gotta get the stumps out. So it's just a ton of a ton of stuff. I'm probably gonna have to haul this out to the dump or something. I don't think the yard people are gonna take it all. But some of these, some of these branches were pretty rotten. I wonder if that caused some of them to fall over. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'll probably take a little break before I get all these stumps done because that's kind of hard work, even with the power tools. Okay, just thought I'd show you my setup for how I'm getting the real stubborn ones out. So I cut around the base with the reciprocating saw to sort of cut the roots loose as much as I could. And I just got a couple cinder blocks, a floor jack, and a uh, homemade 4x4, and a chain, and I just lift it out. And you can hear it pop, the roots snap, and then you can get under there with a the shovel and probably get the rest out pretty easy. That's what I'm gonna try now. All right, here's a video after we're done. So I didn't get it done in an hour. That was optimistic, I guess, but 
I did get all the trees cut down to the stump uh, in about 40 minutes and then spent another day digging out stumps, hauling stuff out to the curb, and um, cleaning up a little bit. All right, and here's the pile of stuff. It goes from one edge of my property to the other. You could tell where all those dandelions are is my neighbor's yard. It was about four or five feet high yesterday, but when I threw all the stumps and roots on it, it kind of shrunk down a little bit. I don't know how long it is, 30, 40 feet, something like that. Two shovels I broke, trying to pull out the roots. Ran out of room, so got another pile over here with some more. So I didn't even count how many wheelbarrow loads I had. It was a lot. 